Hi, this is Sheila with Paparazzi Accessories. I'm consultant number 11637 and I am going to show you in this video how to set up your free Paparazzi Accessories website. I'm going to show you how to add your picture where my picture is here and also if you click on my story from your main website it will show you uh, actually nothing until you set it up. This is currently what my story says. Uh, so first we're going to click on consultant login and once you get to consultant login you're going to enter your consultant ID and your password to log in. Once you are logged in this is your main home screen in your back office and you're going to click on my profile. Once you get to this screen, you have a list of menu options down the left side of your screen. Now, all of these are pretty much self-explanatory, but you're going to click on Edit My Profile in order to change your story or add your story. Now, you're going to have your general information listed here, your contact information, this email address listed here is where paparazzi emails you, uh, there are weekly newsletters and important information. You have your billing address, your shipping address, and this is where you can change all of that if you ever need to. Replicated site text will be blank when you first log in to set up your story. You can type in anything you'd like here. There is a limited number of characters. So think about why you started Paparazzi Accessories a little bit of personal information about yourself, something that you would like to share with potential new consultants or customers because you want to use this opportunity to connect with them and let them know something about yourself so that they will want to work with you. Once you have that filled in, you will scroll all the way to the bottom and click on Save. You can come back here at any time and change that information, and you'll want to do that often, you know, just to make sure it's fresh and up to date. Again, change password is where you'll go to change your password. To edit your picture, initially, again, that will be blank. This will have a blank picture, not your picture or mine. You will click on choose a file down in the uh, middle of the screen. Um, or click on upload image, either one of those, and you will choose a picture that is currently on your computer, your laptop, tablet, phone, whatever your source you're using to upload the picture, and it tells you in the center of the screen here the details as to what size picture you need to have that will fit in this space. The next menu item is replicated site info. What you can do here is change certain details that show up on your website. For example, I wanted to make sure that people were able to call my cell phone number and I also have a special email that I created specifically for uh, my customers or for people to reach me through my website. So if you look on my website, you will see that here you have my phone number and that email address. This is where you set that up under replicated site info. You simply click override, put the information in, and then click save changes. You can, under shipping profiles, you can create different shipping addresses and I will tell you later on how you can use that when placing new orders. But normally you would just leave it the same because Typically, you're going to be shipping to your normal home address. And then change payment info, I'm not going to click on, but uh, what you will enter in there is your banking information. If you choose to have your uh, commissions direct deposited into your bank account, under change payment info is where you would enter in your bank routing number and account number for your bank account and then you would click save on that screen. That's all we have for this video. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. 
And in the next video, we'll go over some of the other additional features in your back office. And uh, I can't wait. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.